Hello everybody and welcome back to Rule of Waves 2 as we continue this war against the British that just drags on and on and on and on. Uh, a couple things to mention before we get started. One, um, probably any future Let's Play that we do of this series will not run as long as this one. Uh, simple reason for that is that any future Let's Play I'm likely to go and just set a goal. Uh, for example, as Japan... <clears throat> excuse me. As Japan, this could be, for example, a we want to take over all of Asia, and once we accomplish that, the series ends. If that takes us 20 years, it takes us 20 years. If it takes us 40, it takes us 40. Either way, I don't think any future Let's Play is going to basically run until game completion in the future for this series. A couple reasons for that. As I've... Well, as I'm sure you could tell, I haven't... I don't think I've actually mentioned it, but I'm sure as you could tell the past couple parts... I'm not a big fan of the aircraft carrier age in this game. I, I'm really not. Managing your aircraft is frustrating, to say the least. Um, and it doesn't help when the game tries to screw you over by just not giving you torpedo bombers and dive bombers even after 30 years from when torpedo bombers become available. Dive bombers, I think, are sometime in the 20s. Um, so not exactly 30 years. Until such time as you say enough is enough and you decide to modify the save to give you a technology that there's no reason you shouldn't have yet. So, yeah. Like I said, I, I personally, I find the aircraft carrier age in this game frustrating. I really do. The game is an absolute wonderful and enjoyable game to play prior to that after that however dear god no that's simply the way i see it it really is that simple the game's just not that enjoyable after aircraft carriers get introduced and they start becoming widespread cvls aren't as bad of an issue personally in terms of dealing with them but actual dedicated cvs God, I hate them. I really do. And again, it doesn't help that managing your aircraft is actually an annoyance. It really is. The system could work much better, I'm sure. But either way, um, I believe the game ends 1955. We're going to let this one run long if the game gives me the opportunity to because I do want to at least show off missiles because otherwise they're probably never going to be shown off in a future series and like i said i do want to at least show them off so we're a little over a year out from uh getting a new I, 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 for some reason this all seems to be a little bit laggy now or i'm getting double presses on my mouse or some shit i don't know um we're a little over a year out from getting our new Dreadnoughts, the Saratoga, which should have technically been out like last turn or the turn before or something, just for some reason isn't. I know I gave them permission to go ahead and give it the better uh, fire control or whatever. I think it was the fire control. I think when we designed this, we had improved and then we got advanced. The game said, hey, you give us an extra month and we can go ahead and swap it out to advanced director. Sure, go ahead and do that, game. Oh, for some reason it's taking you longer than it should have. You said a month. Well, it's been a month. Potentially even two. Since I gave you the okay to do that. And you still haven't done it. So, yeah, that's a thing. And it's annoying, to say the least. Also, do you guys not have... For some reason, I could have sworn I gave you guys the edge lifts. Is that maybe on you? No? Apparently you don't have it either. Well, that would explain why our aircraft take forever and a half to uh, ready. Although, even then, I don't think that's going to significantly improve our ready times. Our main issue is that we lack catapults for uh, carriers. Um... Battleship a great engagement around Nova Scotia. I'll be getting... But depending on if it gives me everything. I'll have the Oregon, which is a Wyoming, and the Missouri, which is a California. 
for some reason our own forces in the area is not including the constitution uh, because that is still in dock for repairs and I don't know if they still have their CVs here they're not listed as estimated enemy forces but that means jack shit I, I don't care to fight this to be honest I don't care to fight that either British float plane scouts, sure, thank you. Better armor, thank you. Uh, temporary setback and figuring the concept of advanced anti-aircraft directors. That sucks. A new fighter from North American is ready for operational service. Fighting continues in Newfoundland. Our flung, flying boat sunk two enemy subs. Wonderful job, guys. And the enemy is blockaded this turn until they send all their ships here in the North American East Coast back to Northern Europe to break the blockade before they ship them back to the North American East Coast so that I have to fight them. And then when they get blockaded again in Northern Europe, they're going to go right back to Northern Europe to break the blockade and we'll just be stuck in this again and again and again, basically, until such time as uh, the war ends. Yeah. That's the way this is going to be. Ah, uh, the New Mexicos are, gonna are finally almost finished. Uh, nope, don't care to fight that. Don't care to fight that. Saratoga is commissioned. Thank you. Colorado and New Mexico finished their reconstruction. Don't let them off lightly. And peace negotiations der eh, derailed by the Hawk Party. Uh, close to mastering shatter resistant shells, which I assume is better AP penetration, which is, I mean, helpful. Apparently they have not yet broken the blockade. They have not actually shifted their stuff from the North American East Coast back to Europe, which is surprising because I really expected them to. I, I really expected them to do that, but evidently they did not. Let's go ahead and accelerate more construction. And I don't know, rest of that will sit on it maybe. Or we'll build another wasp. Build another wasp. The Hornet, that's a great name for a wasp class ship. I like it. Oh, I'm gonna need more um rushes. Um five more. And accelerate the construction on all of those, get them to a year instead of 13 months. I don't care to fight that right now. Same with that. And the Yorktown, that's one of our old Langley's, whatever, I don't care. Uh, German, oh, Germany is offering to sell me electric elevation and training, which I assume will improve turret rotation or something like that. Well, improves rate of fire, but I assume it improves rate of fire by improving things like turret rotation, turret elevation, things like that. Our new dive bomber is operational. Oh, they sunk the, a CVL. Well, great job, guys. I don't care about my CVLs. I plan to scrap them once the war was over anyway. Uh, sinking that actually saves me about 300 extra bucks and the Enterprise gets torpedoed. Luckily it did not sink, but then again it has torpedo protection 4, so it shouldn't sink easily. Flying boat sunk an enemy sub. And British heavy cruiser, the Cumberland, has been interned in neutral port. In a battle between the French and British navies, the British ship destroyer Usk and the French ship destroyer Pique have been sunk. They are still blockaded. Are you guys legitimately not going to send your troops from the North American East Coast to Europe to break the blockade? Really? Really? Also, auxiliary construction on you. I mean, you do you guys, but really? Uh, 
Convoy. Medium-sized battle. This is going to involve cruisers. So I have three battle cruisers. So maybe my, if I'm lucky, my battle cruisers will be dragged in. And they should be able to take care of the enemy armored cruisers, which are about the only things they should send. So we'll fight this. Attack enemy ships in general. Oh, thank God they owe. Fucking A, they gave me the carriers as well, which means the enemy is going to have their carriers. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. <sighs> okay. Well, 300 is a little far. We'll do uh, 200 and uh, maximum cap and sure search, but uh, rather than you guys deciding to use shit for searching that you shouldn't be using for searching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you to ready all of the dive bombers and torpedo bombers with the requisite payload. I tell you to ready them for a strike that will eventually happen. Wait. Game. Oh, I have a support force down here, which is my dreadnoughts. Oh boy, okay. And I have no control over those because, of course. Again, as I mentioned in the past, I hate AI controlled divisions because I hate not having control over my shit. Wait. Oh god, the constitutions haven't even gotten- oh, uh, I think the constitutions don't have them because I haven't been able to send them for an extensive enough rebuild to allow them to have float plane scouts. Which is the only reason that they don't have float plane scouts, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna set you to AI control. Do you stick with him? You guys, you're going up onto the front lines. The RCVs are gonna have to take care of themselves from any potential enemy air raids. If possible, I would love to keep them outside of the enemy range. At least of their land based. Obviously, I can't do anything about their ship based aircraft. Um, although admittedly we're not, because I have cap set to maximum, we're not going to be getting very much in the way of, uh, scouting. Because the AI, the AI is going to separate all my fighters to focus on cap. Which I'm fine with. We'll find the enemy carriers eventually, and you know what, if I destroy all of their aircraft before I find them, you know what, I won't complain. Okay, so that's where they are, allegedly. Collect all that are ready. Give you a target of that. Uh... Yeah, nope, I don't care. The enemy says two dreadnoughts, but they do not have an estimated two dreadnoughts, so I'm hoping that that is a misread and that is supposed to be two enemy CVs that are being misreported as dreadnoughts. Okay, no, I didn't miss any. It's just you guys have some extras. Yep, go ahead, launch. Oh, do the... Ah, oh, the Sentinels don't have the range. So that's fine. We'll send the torpedo bombers ahead. And then we'll send the... Yes, I'm sure. We'll send the dive bombers once we can. These are the older dive bombers that don't have as good of range. Not that I think the new ones are significantly improved. Ah, well, rather, they don't have the range when they're using a heavy payload, which is a 600-pound bomb, which is not really all that great. I think the new ones have a 1,000, which is actually usable. You know, that'll actually do some damage against just... Oh, sh I forgot to set you guys to prioritize uh, dreadnoughts. Well, it's fine, I suppose. 
weather is limiting air operations. It's a light rain up here. Um, somebody just reported an unknown radar contact. I think it was in Minneapolis. I'm assuming it was an air contact of some sort. Um, can I pull up the full log? Yes, I can. Oh no, it was the wasp. Uh, well, if the wasp's reporting something, it's probably our friendly dreadnoughts down here. What's going on with the Columbia? Okay, you turn around. We're having problems. With the Columbia keeping up with the Cincinnati, so turn back around. Actually group up, guys. Yeah, yeah, I know. Those are our dreadnoughts. Thank you. And now you guys go back. Actually do what you were supposed to be doing originally anyway. Now, because the game's starting us so far away, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to sink the enemy within range of this. I believe you need to be something... I believe I saw in the forms something like 100 uh, nautical miles or something. So, I mean, maybe we're within range. It's a little hard to tell exactly. Because, uh, I mean, 100's like... What? Basically one or two of these grids? Give or take, so that's, yeah, that's really not a whole lot, to be honest. Uh, did you guys launch the torpedo bombers? Oh, no, because the, the thing. Oh, no, you did launch them. They're just not doing anything yet, apparently. They have uh, failed to make contact with the enemy. Or, you know, really just anything. I do see that they are apparently heading southeast. Or excuse me, southwest. Which is a little interesting. Uh, Constitution's going to turn around because apparently it's getting well ahead of the Colorado. Okay, now they're heading back north again. I have no idea where the hell they're going. Okay, you guys slow down to 20 because evidently you are failing to keep up for some reason. I really don't know what your problem is. Set the game to fast as we wait to maybe make contact. I do wish I could just recall the torpedo bombers or something, but that's not an option. None of our guys are finding them on radar. Okay, but they seem to be coming back now. They probably ran out of fuel. I don't think I can actually check any of that stuff about them though. I can't pull up their info annoyingly. Now, the only report we had was this guy, which was apparently heading northwest, or excuse me, northeast. Why do I keep screwing that up? I don't know. Heading sort of northeast, a little more east than north, but whatever. Um, well, actually, you label it as straight east, which is not completely accurate. That is sort of more of north, but whatever. The reality is there's no reason for them to be heading in that direction. The ships might have temporarily been heading in that direction to find the convoy they're supposed to be escorting. The convoy is probably up here somewhere or something, if I had to make a guess. Because it'll be heading to St. John's. At least that's where it should be heading. You know, typically the game doesn't spawn a convoy here around Newfoundland that's supposed to be heading to Europe. So, yeah, it's presumably heading to St. John's over here in Newfoundland. I just gotta find it. Maybe. But we're almost out of time anyway, so they're gonna succeed because I'm gonna fail the objective for one anyway, and none of us are gonna have fired any shots at each other. Langley has found some... Langley, how the fuck did you find something there? Also... Did the AI literally manage to somehow sneak through that? Because there's no fucking way that they managed to do that. Unless that is my dreadnoughts. 
And it might be my Dreadnoughts, because, yeah, okay, they were heading north, yeah. Ah, eh, fucking Columbia got torpedoed by an enemy sub. And they were legitimately heading northeast for some reason. I... Why? Really, game, why? Why is the convoy going north? There is no reason for the convoy to go north, and also they did in fact have their dreadnoughts, interestingly enough. If they're heading straight north, they're going to uh, Greenland. Which, there's no ports around Greenland for one. In this game. Greenland has nothing for bases. Iceland has a base, yes. And it's in the Northern Europe region, so they wouldn't be heading there. So I don't know why the fuck their convoy is going north, but it was. If I had kept going north, I would have eventually ran into them. Not that it matters. Well, great. Our guys in Newfoundland are doing a good job for once, finally. Apparently, the latest army offensive has been a brilliant success, capturing valuable terrain, gaining us 1,200 victory points. Uh, Germany wants to buy shit, sure. We're near the end of the game anyway, Germany. You can have all the shit you want. I do not care. 1,000 pound bombs for the British medium bombers. Quintuple. We are close to mastering quintuple torpedo tube game. I'm not going to have five torpedo tubes in a single torpedo tube mount. It's just not going to happen. New French medium bombers from be faster than ours. Was I looking to get a new one? Uh, probably yes, but right now I'm looking to get a better torpedo bomber. So, not quite yet. Really? Four enemy CVLs around Malaya? Yeah, they're not going to give me that battle. <sighs> Fuck it. If you're going to fight me, I'll give it to you. Oh god, this is literally the same fucking mission as before, but this time I don't have my cruisers. I have just the battle cruisers and the... CVs, maximum cap, because the enemy is going to have a CVL, and they're going to have the aircraft from St. John's. Now, one thing the game needs to do is default torpedo bombers to using a torpedo loadout. There is no reason for them to be defaulting to a medium loadout. That should be noted, and it is honestly annoying that they always default to a medium loadout. There should be a means of checking the class and defaulting its loadout depending on that. Hell, I'd prefer dive bombers to always default to a heavy load. I'm not going to use medium bombs. You know, 1600, or yeah, 500 pound bombs for 600. I'm going to take the 600. I don't care if it dropped my range by 40. Go ahead and get those guys ready. Let's see if we can find the enemy at all, but there's no guarantee that we will. Just like last time. And who knows? Maybe they're going to be stupid and annoying and head north again for some reason that is completely unknown to everybody. Set you to 20 knots. Set you to 20 knots. Well, our guys are not reporting any enemies. It's possible that they were heading north. Go ahead, launch yours again, Colorado. Maybe you get better luck this time. Though I wouldn't count on it. Okay, one of our friendly guys shot down an enemy dive bomber. Which the 
circle here would indicate they only have torpedo bombers. So that would be from a CVL. Or their CVL, which they... And it was only one. And it only attacked one. Question is, what direction did it come from? And that, I have no clue about. Oh god damn it, are they going north again? Collect all that are ready. Collect you guys to go there. Focus on dreadnoughts. Launch strike. Yes, I'm sure I don't want it to be coordinated. Go. Looks like they're going north again for some reason that is completely unknown to everybody. Enemy aircraft approaching our carriers. Or dive bombers. Um, well, we have a shit ton of cap and the Wasp has... 64 heavy AA factor and the Langley has 59. Uh, good luck. Let's see. Uh, shot down one. Oh, well, damage. Got three damages and one shoot down. With our um, cap fighters. We got two more shoot downs. We damaged four. We had a combined total of 61. Really, that's actually kind of low. Well, no, actually that... No, that's about right, actually. Gotta remember, this number is supposed to be for the whole ship, not just for either side, so technically it's 32 on each side of the Wasp, give or take about. You guys shouldn't have anything to worry about. Also, I believe it was a dive bomber, so you don't need to do vase maneuvers as much as you are. Because, you know, that's that's not how dive bombers work. But whatever. You do you, I guess. Now, they're going to outrun our battle cruisers because their dreadnoughts have speed of 30, I think it is, or somewhere around there. Uh... Some of our guys are approaching enemies. Uh, I think it's you guys, because it was a 12. Yeah, it's you guys, so they are actually about here. One of our aircraft was damaged. Dreadnought, armored cruiser, destroyer. No bomb hits. 15 of our sentinels are approaching. Uh, we did get a bomb hit, apparently, this time. With the sentinel. Which is... I mean, I'm, I'll take any hits I can get, to be honest. Also, now that I think about it, out of curiosity, um... Yeah. Their comets are... Yeah, 1,000 pounds. The air comets would have actually done damage. The Sentinels, though, with their 600s... Yeah, that ain't doing much. Well, we got two bomb hits on destroyers, so those are probably going to be sinking, or very damn close. Ah, uh, they did shoot down one of my dive bombers this time. Sentinels went in for another run on an enemy transport this time. No bomb hits. Also, apparently the enemy had no heavy AA guns available, or medium, or even light. And we got a hit on a transport. Uh, made a run on another enemy transport this time. They did have heavy AA. And they destroyed one of our aircraft. This was the Sentinels. Uh, another run on enemy transport. None of our guys got hit. By heavy AA, it was only a factor of five, so that's not too shocking. We got another hit on transport. Another 14 coming in for a run. Uh... No bomb hits. One of ours was destroyed. Another run on a transport. Uh, none of our aircraft were destroyed, but we got a bomb hit on a transport. Another run. None of our aircraft were destroyed or damaged, and no bomb hits. Uh... Nine of our torpedo bombers coming in. 
those have a pretty good shot of potentially sinking transports simply because there's very little room to actually maneuver so something's in something's bound to get hit there i don't know what but something is bound to get hit they went in on a run on the enemy cvl interesting that's not really what i would have gone for i mean i know i have you guys set to go for dreadnoughts but still that's not really what i would have gone for it's unlikely to have actually done anything Uh, they made a couple runs, no hits reported so far. That doesn't mean there are none, it just means none have been reported. It's possible that there are, is going to be a hit, but now I think it's too late for there to have been a hit. 11 more coming in on the enemy. Let's check our guys, they have not returned yet. Enemy ship got hit, don't know what it was, though quite a few of these guys got destroyed or damaged. There's the enemy dreadnought. Um, I don't recall what they were, I think it was the Ramillus and something else. Either way, I don't know if we can actually pen you. Well, we might be able to. It's just good luck actually doing significant enough damage, I think. Uh, let's see. 2.91 hit chance. 2.52. It is a Ramillus. It's going actually a little slow, but that could just be because, you know, it was trying to focus on escorting. So it wasn't going to be going particularly fast in the first place. Uh, you guys, get ready. We're going to break off because I don't want to fight that Ramillus. At least not with my battle cruisers. That's gonna be the other enemy dreadnought there. Now we have kind of screwed with their stuff there. You guys get ready, you guys get ready. You guys turn north. Those are more enemy transports over there. Turn in, see if you can identify them so you can start shooting at them. Ah shit, they're firing on us with the Ramillus. Oh no, it might be that- oh no, that- yeah, that is the Ramillus and it got a hit on the Connie. Hit the hull, so nothing too significant, but break off, get out of there. We'll see if it gives chase. It does outrun us, but it's a question of if it actually gives chase, because there's no guarantee that it will. And as long as it doesn't, this is fine. Select all that are ready, set you to go here. Remember, your target, Dreadnoughts. Launch. Uh, you know what? I don't care about increased accidents. Our guys are going to have to learn to live with them. And I'm sure I don't want a coordinated strike, because that'll take you too long. Okay, let's turn west. Because he seems to be going south now. We do have one confirmed sinking. There was another one that was basically dead in the water up here, if I recall correctly as well, but we don't have confirmation that it's sunk. No idea what's going on with the Colorado. It's struggling to keep up with the Constitution, which has jammed all of its rear guns, apparently. 
Well, they've been disabled. Disabled can be fixed. God damn it, the Ramillus is still there. It keeps intercepting us. Um, I don't know which what that was. I think that was our thing, maybe. No, was that them sending something at us? I. I don't know. I I don't know. Uh, no. That yeah, that was us. Getting runs that we don't need to be getting. The guys, the enemies are further north, guys. Um. Go east. Reapproaching. No, guys, you don't need to be doing anything right down there. It's way too far south. Enemy ship torpedoed. You guys got anybody ready to go? Yeah, there's a couple guys I need to get ready. Uh, not you, you're not worth it. But you, yes. Enemies are... There-ish. Ready to strike. Another group coming in... okay. That one might actually be hitting them. Maybe. More coming in on the enemy. That was a 13. That's the dive bombers up here to the north. Hits on what's being designated as a battle cruiser. Which could be the Ramillus. Unknown radar contact and something dead in the water up here. And something that's going slow. Don't know what the dead in the water is. Oh, that might be the Ramillus. Yes, suck on that. Constitution finally getting its revenge. For this. God damn it. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to say Constitution finally getting its revenge for the sinking of the Lexington, but evidently I was wrong because it was not a battle cruiser. It was, in fact, a fucking transport. And these things are generally dead in the water after one good salvo. Oh, that's apparently some destroyers over there. Okay, uh. Okay, well, we accomplished our objective. Anybody who's. Well. Yeah, anybody who's ready to go, screw it. I don't care about losses. We're sinking those fucking dreadnoughts. Or dreadnought, because evidently it might only be one, but I don't care. We're sinking it. I don't care if there are extra air accidents for people that have to be replaced. Whoever gets it, whoever gets the hit and sinks it. God damn it, Colorado just took a torpedo. Uh, gets drinks. Drinks on the Admiralty for the rest of your life. Oh fuck, it's further north than I expected. Oh well. It's heading down here, so this is fine. Yes, Colorado, I know you're having problems. You took a lot of flooding damage from that one torpedo. They kind of hurt now, especially since you're an ancient ship. So you don't have all the nice torpedo protection. In fact, I think you have zero torpedo protection. Also, I think we had a lot of accidents for takeoff because I saw a single dive bomber and I'm pretty sure I didn't launch anything that was supposed to be just a single dive bomber. Uh, K-1 
Okay, no idea what happened there. No, screw the AMCs. Yeah, you're going north. The only way you're avoiding getting sunk. No, you're going north. Give me the constitution. It's gonna turn to... Come back in for another run on these transports, potentially. You guys deal with your flooding out of curiosity? Uh, mostly. Mostly. Okay. Dreadnought's coming back south. You know what? We sunk a bunch of their shit. Let's get out of here now. We've sunk, I think, like eight of those, or at least it will be eight. Maybe even nine. I'm not quite sure. It might be nine, actually. I'm not sure. Either way, we're leaving now. Let's get out of here. You guys go there. You keep going north because it's about the only way you're going to be safe. And even that is kind of just relying on luck. So, well, we sunk the CVL apparently. That's great. Sunk 13 auxiliary, which is all the transports. Uh, how much did we have from... Uh, well, only 27 aircraft from operational losses, which I think annoyingly does include accidents. I wish accidents were a separate line, personally. But I think operational losses does include accidents. Five were lost to AA fire. Well, I guess operational losses alone makes sense, because despite being labeled as operational losses, those are not aircraft that are lost during an operation, in the sense of you sent it to go and attack an enemy. So only five were actually shot down to AA fire. Three dive bombers, two torpedo bombers. Yeah, so most of our losses were operational, which means accidents, basically. Let's get the hell out of here. There, Togo finished her workup. Wonderful. The daring pilots of 3512 Squadron have racked up the impressive total of 11 bomb hits. It's not really that impressive, but whatever floats your boat. And 3641 have racked up an impressive total of 10. Again, that's not that impressive, but whatever floats your boat. Examination of captured enemy munitions has helped our research in AP projectiles. Wonderful. So, yeah, I figured it was better AP penetration. And our flying boat sunk another enemy sub. Now uh, the British are no longer being blockaded back home. Not sure why. They got some extra shit there, I guess. There we go, Saratoga finally finished her work up. We got a nice 16 inch gun battery on our battle cruisers finally. Don't think there's really anything I can do with you though to be honest at this point. About as good as you're gonna get. Small engagement in support of land battle, that typically means cruisers, which means I might get my battle cruisers, maybe if I'm lucky. And well, we got our battle cruisers and we do get to see the Saratoga in action, which is always great. Uh, but the fact that we have our C, well, the, the enemy had no CVs estimated at all. They didn't even have a CVL. So actually this is probably the best possible engagement we could ever have. If I had to make a guess. Because the enemy will only have what they can launch from their... God damn it, the Columbia is pretty much out of uh, fuel. 
Uh, I was about to say the Columbia. I don't got a Columbia. Yeah, we do. It's down here. It's with the Wasp. You know what? You get to stay with the Wasp. Uh, but the other two, the Cincinnati and Minneapolis, yeah, no, there's... Well, I'll group them together once I get the opportunity. It means once I gain operational control over them... It's gonna be a little while. Um, also, I'm gonna go ahead and request uh, land-based cap for the battle cruisers. The enemy is going to have dreadnoughts. They estimated was two, which is in fact accurate. We did see that during uh, one of those convoy raids that we participated in. Uh, there's one. Our guys are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell them go for it. Launch strike, I don't care about coordinated. I'm far too impatient to wait for coordinated strikes. Uh, you, speed up. I don't want the battle cruisers in the lead. Battle cruisers fall back for a second. Let the Cincinnati and Minneapolis take the lead. And drop down to 20 knots. You speed up to 20. Uh... Friendly cap is firing on an enemy flying boat uh, around our CVs. Uh, okay, and you guys are remembering your priority targets are supposed to be dreadnoughts. Oh, have you replaced all of your out of curiosity? Have you replaced all? No, you still have the old Sentinel, at least some of them. Okay, I was hoping you'd finish, finish replacing all your dive bombers with the era comets with their nice 1,000 pound bombs, but evidently not the case. So you guys are approaching enemy ships. Battlecruiser destroyer. One was damaged. And we got a bomb hit on the battlecruiser. Another run. None of our uh, aircraft were damaged, and two bomb hits on an enemy dreadnought, or at least what's being labeled as a dreadnought. Does not mean it is in fact a dreadnought, of course, because we've observed this in the past. Inaccurate information is a thing. Unknown radar contacts. This is going to be the job of the Connie and Saratoga, though more so the Saratoga than the Connie. These are probably those so-called battle cruisers and dreadnoughts. Yeah, a CV opening fire on the Minneapolis with the big gun sound effect. Yeah, that ain't a CV. That's a dreadnought. I mean, it could also be the battle cruiser that estimated, which is actually a dreadnought. They don't have a battle cruiser that was not listed in the estimated enemy forces, which could be inaccurate, but still. Now, I don't know if our bombs did anything. That is no guarantee. Really? Okay, Saratoga hit a, a, took a hit to the turret top of the Y turret. And it took a hit to the hull. Saratoga, you need to prove me right. And you need to actually do, do your damn job and destroy that damn thing. We need to get revenge. The Lexington is still waiting for its revenge. There we go. Two hits from the Saratoga. Uh, apparently knocked out the uh, catapult that they're not using because they don't need it anymore. Great job, guys. You hit the wrong thing. I guess you're going for the Citadel hit here, trying to knock out the bridge. Another hit on it. Nothing of any real note. Cincinnati and Minneapolis are going to go and attempt to launch torpedoes on it because that's the best way to kill it. As per usual, Cincinnati took a hit. Another hit, this time from the Connie. Another hit to the, from the Connie. Another hit from the Saratoga. It's not doing anything. 
Cincinnati continues to take more hits. Saratoga, you need to speed up and go north. Because it's trying to outrun you, and I'm not a fan of that. Another hit from the Connie. Cincinnati near miss. Another hit from the Connie. A hit from the Cincinnati, which is going to do literally nothing. Uh, for the simple reason that the Cincinnati has six inch guns. Those, those ain't doing shit. Uh, are you guys still landing? No, you're just still refueling and rearming and, well, I guess just actually refueling. In theory, the rearming doesn't happen until, you know, you actually get your mission assignment. We got four hits there. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Saratoga, Cincinnati, Minneapolis. Again, the C Cincinnati and Minneapolis ain't doing shit to it. Ah, uh, Saratoga took a hit to the bridge. It was damaged, but not destroyed. Saratoga also got another hit back on the Vermilis. Minneapolis, or since me. No, we have Minneapolis continues getting hits. Not doing anything of any real worth, but, you know, you keep doing your thing. Cincinnati's getting fucking lucky in terms of avoiding actually being, you know, wrecked by the enemy. Okay, you. You're going up here. Ready to strike. Got a job for you. More hits. Still nothing of any real worth. Cincinnati continues getting hit. So fire started. Because you're... Uh, I always get them confused, but your right side torpedo tube got hit, so fun, fun, fun. Destroy that damn destroyer. Still no good hits on the Vermillus, which is annoying because I need to get those good hits. Okay, Gurkha's done. Wonderful. You guys turn around. Cincinnati. As long as that fire doesn't spread, I can live with you taking forever to get it out. Up to a point, of course. There we go, more guns finally firing on you. We disabled one of your rear turrets, wonderful. Enemy aircraft approaching uh, carriers. Five flying boats on a naval strike. I mean, I suppose they could hurt if they managed to hit, but I, I don't quite see them hitting, if we're being honest. Okay, update your information. The enemy Romilis is right there and launch that strike once you have the opportunity. Sixteen dive bombers coming in on the Romilis. We got a uh, disabled the forward turret or one of the forward turrets as well. It's on you. Uh, aircraft damage, but no hits. Oh shit, we got. Well, that's not a CV game. Uh, but we got four bomb hits on you, apparently. That disabled the other forward turret. The rear one is. You still have a firing rear turret. Although you are on fire and you are heavily damaged, so you're probably not going to be going for much longer. Another bomb hit. And 
Alright, now well, we can pretty much say you're good as dead. Cincinnati managed to deal with the fire, wonderful. Enemy aircraft coming for our carriers again. Oh, this time it's torpedo bombers, you know, those could actually do something. They don't get... What happened to all of our cap? Really? Did... At that exact moment, all our cap decide, oh wait, we, we're gonna go ahead and land. Just my fucking luck, huh? Uh, luckily, the Wasp has pretty damn good heavy A factor, and it has some support from the Cincinnati, or the Columbia rather in this case, not the Cincinnati. Uh, which also has a fairly decent uh, heavy A factor at 44. Damage to enemy aircraft, so only two will be dropping on that run. Uh, another... Now, game. You say one enemy torpedo bomber attempts to drop a torpedo bomb on the CV Wasp. Heavy A fires first and it destroys one. Medium AA then fires and damages another. Now, how do you damage another if only one attempted? Unless the aircraft that was damaged was one that wasn't attempting to drop. Like, I think you're a little confused as to how that works, game. It doesn't quite make sense. You still, you know what? Fuck it, Cincinnati, go in. Make sure that damn thing sinks. We're avenging the Lexington. If you manage to succeed at this, Cincinnati and Minneapolis. Although Cincinnati's probably going to go home after this. It's pretty damn beat up. Um, like I said, no. Whoever gets to sink the Ramillas gets free drinks from the Admiralty for the rest of their life. There's your chance, Cincinnati. You got two hits. That did not disable the other gun firing. Which, I mean, I'm fine with, though I kind of... I think the Minneapolis would have appreciated if you had managed to disable the other gun firing. Um, also, Cincinnati, you're going home. So, uh, make your way to uh, Halifax. Okay, and it's over. So, um, I don't know who's going to get credit for the Ramillis. Let's uh, pull up what happened here. Let's see, we got uh, bomb hit to the hull deck from one of our dive bombers. Bomb hit to turret B from one of our dive bombers. Uh, also up here, we had a hit to the Y turret. Yes, yeah, Saratoga is what hit the catapult. Uh, nothing significant again, basically for a while. Up until we start getting air attacks again. Uh, let's see, here it is. Looks like it's probably the Sentinels that managed to deal the last little bit of damage that basically killed it. That's uh, my guess, because that's quite a few hits there, and they're all 600, so those are all Sentinels. That was a hit to the engine room, that definitely helped. Uh, not sure how much help that critical hit from the Saratoga to the electrical um, power system of the Romillus really helped, but I'm sure it helped a little. You know what, screw it, everyone in this fleet's just going to get free drinks for the rest of their life, just make life easier. It's a little hard to figure out who actually got the... Who managed to actually contribute the most to killing it. So everybody gets free drinks for life. So everyone on the Wasp, anyone, everyone on the Saratoga, and the Constitution, right? Yeah. The Cincinnati, Minneapolis, even the little old Columbia that was down here that did nothing. Or whatever, whatever it was. Columbia, I think that's what it was. Yeah, that, that sounds right. Now they all get... Free drinks for life from the Admiralty. 
great job game i don't care i'm not i'm not using them better invasion capability sure i don't have really a use for it but i'll take it i suppose also uh yeah speaking of better torpedoes uh, here we go uh, set that to medium because it doesn't really need to be on high anymore i don't really care for it uh, we're gonna set ap shells to medium as well as our uh HE shells and we'll up our budget again. We got some money now, so let's up our budget. So, they still have a dreadnought here in the North American East Coast, but we sunk one. How long until we get one of our new fancy ones out again? The Oklahoma is now 10 months out. In fact, it'll be followed shortly by, well, It'll come alongside, rather, uh, one of our Corvettes. And the Arizona is a couple months behind that. And then, yeah, it's going to be a while until we get the Lexington. Oh, yes, we were already building another Wasp. And then I queued up the Hornet. That's what I get for not paying attention to this. Also, it doesn't help that sorting by month sometimes doesn't really sort properly. I think it's because it includes looking at the stuff after it, and if there's anything after it, it screws up with the sorting order. It doesn't sort just by the numbers. Um, sure, well, I'll still give you the Hornet, because it's kind of expensive to scrap it, because, yeah, it's already been building for like five months. Convoy Defense, are you going to actually give me this or no? Because you don't really have a shot. Yeah. Unexpected advances in fleet tactics, improved fleet logistics for whatever that's worth. Maybe fighting in New Finland, enemy fortifications are holding up to our advance. Of course they are. Uh, they did bring a CV in temporarily, it looks like, but then it left. I don't know where it went. I guess it went back home. I don't know why the hell it was here then for a month or the game was inaccurate uh okay game claims they have a pre-dreadnought but uh the british don't have pre-dreadnoughts our guys are idiots oh they are actually gonna give me this and germany's gonna actually give me some ships uh, oh, there's my timer so we're gonna end this part here oh shit okay i say germany's gonna give me some is going to give me a ship. No, 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 no. Germany is going to be fielding the vast majority of our military in this engagement. The only thing I have under my actual personage that we built is the Missouri here. Which, I'm not a big fan of this because this means they probably have their dreadnought and the Missouri is not quite equipped to deal with their dreadnought. I mean, it's a little bit better than the other, the Wyoming's, but, well, is it? The Oklahoma, the Oregon, I don't recall. It's one of those two, something like that. Uh, for the... The dread, or, uh, the other dreadnought that we have. The Wyoming class. Now, what are your Sharn hordes? Uh, oh, these are first Bismarck classes. Holy crap, these are... 1910, or excuse me, not 1910. 1930 and then 1933 for the, uh... uh Blucher class? Sure. We'll call it the Blucher class. I'm definitely mispronouncing that. Uh, which is a Friedrich Karl class, which is only three years after that Scharnhorst. And it's quite a bit better. You know, it's got 10 inch guns, so it has the potential to be useful. Although it looks like he might have stripped the armor a little, yeah. Kind of cheapened on the armor. At least on the belt. You went down half an inch, but you added an inch on the deck. Or excuse me, half an inch on the deck. Or on the turret, excuse me, not the deck. Uh, yeah. That's, I mean, it's okay, I guess. Also, oh, I was looking at these guys, okay. And those are both S16s. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so I'll see you all next time where we will f 
fight this other battle where we have to sink any two enemy ships in the area basically immediately around the port area. Uh, the enemies presumably have their last dreadnought here. They had an estimated CVL, if I'm recalling correctly, and a couple of armored cruisers, I think it was. Um, and maybe some destroyers as well, even. But no idea what they actually have here. So I guess we'll see. But until then, goodbye and farewell.